and أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الصلاة والسلام على رسوله الكريم نبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم خاتم الأنبياء والمرسلين رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل الأقطة من لساني يفقه قولي My very dear, respectable, passionate Quran lovers السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته I welcome you all to the lesson number 15A, uh, Understand Al-Quran the Easy Way. And I congratulate you that inshallah today, after having done this lesson, we would have done three-fourths of the lesson. So, you know, the major part of the, uh, of the course. So the major part of the course will be completed by today, inshallah. And we are, alhamdulillah, in each lesson, we are learning things. We are coming closer to the Book of Allah and we are improving our understanding of the Quran. And it is only possible with your continuous interaction with the Quran that you'll be able to sustain this learning and you will truly be able to benefit from the learning of the course. Today, inshallah, we are going to cover Surah An-Nasr and in grammar, there is something very, very interesting coming up. So these are new actions because we are going to start with the imperative tense. We have done the you know, the past form, the mudare, you know, mazi form, the perfect form, mudare, the imperfect, imperfect one. Now we'll do the command form or the imperative tense. So if al, if tah, ij al. And they're very interesting actions. So, you know, nicely showing your finger and dropping it like you are giving order to somebody. And then plural for, of course, you know, and then for you know, the, for, for the nahi part, amar wa nahi, because it is together amar wa nahi, giving a command or stopping by a command. So we will use our fingers to further learn forms of amar wa nahi. There's a beautiful learning tip about, you know, when you have to learn or do something, you definitely create an environment for it. So we'll talk about it. So today's lesson will give us 12 new words which appear in Quran almost thousand times, I'm sure. You're all set and ready to learn more words as our battery is charging, alhamdulillah, in every class. And we are able to now translate 37,500 words of Quran. Alhamdulillah. So, brothers and sisters, for today's lesson, before I come to the surah, let's have a little introduction of this surah al Nasr. And as it is, stated and narrated by Abdullah bin Abbas. May Allah be pleased with him. This surah is the last complete surah of the Quran that was revealed to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. So after this surah, no complete surah was revealed, but some verses of other surahs were revealed. And then the surah has a great significance in terms of, you know, being a uh, a forecast and advanced news to great, uh, you know, news. So the enemies of Islam were defeated in Arabi, Arabia. People were accepting Islam in groups and there was no one to scare them or confuse them by telling false things about Islam. So they got the freedom to accept it. So, so the, the, the surah is revealed, you know, before the victory of Makkah. So, it's, it's, you know, an advanced intimation as well, okay? And then as the mission of the Prophet completes, you know, so the Prophet is being advised to So beautiful surah, beautiful things to do. Let's first of all, as a practice, listen to the recitation of the surah, all right? So while you are listening to it, so alhamdulillah, now comes time for your active involvement into whatever we have listened to. Uh, okay, so let's let's now so get ready and let me know whatever you have already learned. So it's a just quick challenge to all of you. Do we know the meaning of iza? Anyone? When? Mashallah, Sister Iba, Sister Eman, 
they are all writing in the brother Hassan. So they are writing in the chat box that it means iPhone brother Shahid. This this means when sister Ajara, mashallah, you all know it. The meanings of iza. It is when. Very good, excellent. So jaa is a fail, and we'll see its meanings. Uh, my very important question to all of you is. What is the next word, Nasr? Is it a ism fail or harf? Ism. Ism. Please, ism. ideally, it will be nice if you could write in the chat box and I could see what everybody is writing. So, you know, it just makes me understand where do we stand in terms of our learning of the, of the course. So, uh, it's good to see that most of you are writing ism. And you have a clarity about it. So, yeah. So, of course, it is It is different. It is not Nasara. It is Nasr. And inshallah, we'll see in the course, why is this an ism? All right? So, Nasrullahi wal -fat. And I, I, for surely, you know, wal -fat. That's very easy to understand that this is an ism because of Alif Lam. al -fat. By the way, what do you think would be the meanings of al -fat? Because you are already doing the table of Fatah. Yeah, ex excellent. Actually, yeah, it is victory. It is to conquer. It is to open. Because it comes from Fatah. He opened. So now it has some connection with that. From the same table, it becomes Walfat, uh, al -fat. So we will see, inshallah, in the coming classes, how is it formed? وَرَعَيْتَ النَّاسَ النَّاسِ What does it mean? We have learnt it in the previous, yeah, mashallah, Sister Ayman, Brother Hassan, they are all writings, Umeba, Brother Suleiman, Sister Amina, Brother Augustine. Mankind. Yeah, this is mankind, the man, perfect. يَدْخُلُونَ What do you think this word is in its construction? What does it look like grammatically uh, in terms of its um, uh, you know yeah excellent so yes this is fail mudare and of course it is singular or plural fail mashallah sister sara sister meba sister brother they are all writing it's fail mudare and it's plural akusula iphone they're all writing. This is plural, BB as well. So, yet khuluna fi, fi. What does fi mean? In, mashallah. We all know it. Excellent. Very quick. And deen. Now, you know, we you remember we learned one meaning of deen in the beginning when we said maliki yamid deen. And there the meaning was, you know, Maliki Yamiddin. So day of judgment. Yeah, it was judgment. It was output. It was, but this one has a different meaning. And we'll see to it, inshallah. At that time, you were also reminded there are two meanings of deen. And the second meaning is being used here, which is the system of life. Afwaja. Who will break down the word fasabbih? How many parts? Fasabbih. Any idea? Mashallah. Very good. Yeah, there are two parts, fa and sabbi. And how many parts of bihamdi? Mashallah, very right. These are also two parts. Sister Ayman is even making the parts there. Sister Busari, Adama, Ahid, everybody is saying bi and hamd. Excellent. Rabbika. How will you make the action of Rabbika? Rabbika. With one finger. Yeah, Rabbika, your Lord, your Rabb, mashallah. And here comes the real test. How many parts of Vastaghfirhu? Mashallah, Sister Ayman Saif and Ayman Dibril both are the first ones to write three parts. Ahid, Suleiman, Busari, Hafsa, Ajara, Sara, mashallah, Muhammad, Talal, everybody is writing, BB, three parts. Yeah, Wa, Istaghfir, and Hu, mashallah. And then we know about let's move forward. Alhamdulillah, we know lots of things ourselves already. We have learned them in the same course. So 
Iza jaa anasrullahi wal fat. When comes the help of Allah wal fat and the victory. Now let's look at them. Iza. We have already studied that is and Iza both means when and is is 239 times and Iza 454 times. So more than 600 times is Iza and is in Quran, which means when. So inshallah, we'll know this meaning and we will remember it forever now. Is, is, a when. Ja, ja is like, you know, the, the past form. Mazi, he came. Ja, like you're learning other things. Fataha, he opened. Nasara, he helped. Wakaba, uh, it came. Ja, he came. Okay. So ja, he came. Right. But how come it's written comes in the translation? I just noted it's written is a ja when it comes. Why? Ja means it came. So that's a bit confusing thing. Any idea? Because of Iza. Did we learn something about it in the previous classes? Brother saying because of Iza. So what happens because of Iza? Sister, brother Suleiman is also saying, sister Sarah is saying, brother Hassan is also saying. Oh, great. Mashallah, you all know it already. How come? Sister Afsar is also saying. And sister Mahiba. So what happens when Ida comes with? It's changes. Uh, like? Okay. Yeah. So Iza, when it comes over Mazi, it changes to the Mudare. Yes, to Mudare. And now today, we should make it perfectly stored in our mind forever. So Iza turns the Mazi into Mudare. Iza followed by Mazi makes it Mudare. So Iza ja, rather than saying when it came, we would say when it comes. Iza ja, when it comes. Because this was being told in advance for the future. You know, Fatah Makkah had to be there. So it was it was a mudare form. When it will come and when it comes. Okay. So nasr. So mashallah, you were all very right. The nasr word here is the ism. It is not nasara. It is nasr. And we'll see inshallah how from the same fail of nasara, you have made all the mazi forms, you have made the mudare forms. And today inshallah we'll make the imperative forms. And then a time will come, you will learn how nasr is formed. So help. Nasrullah, whose help? Allah's help and Fath. So Fath means to open or victory. And it also is formed from the same table of Fataha, he opened. So Fath, to open or the victory. And why is it written al -fath? What does it mean, al -fath? Is Ism. Is yeah, that's an ism, but it also makes it special. And this is referring to what special even does it refer to? This fat. Al fat. Yeah, very right, mashallah. So this refers to the conquest of Makkah, victory of Makkah. All right. So that's why wal fat, al fat. We know this is special, but when something is special, it also refers to some special event or special thing or special status. Okay. So when comes the help of Allah, Walfat and the victory. So the conquest of Makkah in the eighth year of Hijrah. That's what the victory is uh, connotating to here. Now, what does this ayah tell us? With Allah's help only, all things get done. So here the victory refers to the victory of Makkah in the eighth year of Hijrah. And we should pray to Allah immediately when we listen to something good. Oh Allah, grant us your help in everything we do and give us the victory in every matter of life. But then we also need to evaluate ourselves. How did the Prophet get the victory? Did he get it overnight? You know, did he get the victory just by once, uh, you know, going out and then conquering Makkah? No, 
It took him 20 years of very, very hard work, starting his preaching from the Makkah, then migration to Medina, then all the hardships, wars and everything. But then Allah, of course, helped him because of his complete devotion to Allah. So Allah's help came. Now, what is the lesson in it for us? What should I do? What should you do right now, this week, at this stage of our life? So, you know, we all need to have an individual and a collective plan so that we could receive Allah's help. And the plan is not that, you know, it's just in the air, a general plan, I will do something, inshallah, I will learn. No, 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 no. Just make sure your plan is concrete, workable, quantitative. You know, make plan like this in one year, in the coming year, what am I going to do? What am I going to achieve in five years, in 10 years? Every day, how much time? 10 minutes, 15 minutes, what will I do? How much money should I spend on it? Maybe, you know, one dollar, one rupee, one, uh, you know, whatever your currency is. How much time, how much resources, my ability is to serve the deen of Allah? You know, so Alhamdulillah. So I have also set up targets for myself. I'm going to at least learn one ayah of Quran every day. I'm going to teach at least one uh, you know, the lesson of Quran at least every day. I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to plan about it. I'm going to plan about how many teachers to be created. So, you know, have some concrete plan. Okay. So, excel in your studies, learn Quran, and then spread it to others. Serve the, the Islam in the best way. So, and then Surely we will, inshallah, be able to receive Allah's help and inshallah our this life and the life hereafter will be victorious. So read out your time, teach each other. And if you're writing, that's the best thing to do. Okay. Izaja means ABCD. Which one? C. C. Great. So, mashallah, brother is one, Meiba, Jara, Suleiman, everybody is writing C. So, Lubanga and Hafsad and mashallah. Very good. So, in which year the, was Makkah concurred? C. A, B, C, D? A, B, C. C. Okay. Very well. In the eighth year of Hijra. Okay. So, let's move forward. Waraita Nasa wa Raita nasa. Why is a separate word? Raita. Raita is a mazi form. The way you say fataha fatahu fatahta. You say nasarta. You say anta. So it is the mazi form. Fa, uh, you know darabta, samita. So raita. So raita and you saw. It should be you saw. So why is it, and you see, although there is no Iza here, now tell me the reason here, why again it is being translated into the Asmudare, Raita, it must be, you saw, but look at the translation, it's written, and you see the people, meaning by you will see, and you see, you are seeing them, any idea? Anyone would you would you like to give any idea? Just just share your idea if you have any idea in your mind. So we see, okay, Lubanga says because of Ida and okay, because it was revealed because of the Ida at the beginning of the sentence, Bilkiso, Bello, my all right. Yeah, you're right. Yes, very good. Well, you know the wa is and so the same sentence is continuing actually. Yeah, so Waraita and you saw, but actually the same Iza is still there, which was in the beginning. Iza Rasulullah wal Fat Wa means and so it continues. Wa Iza and when Raita, you will see, you see Waraita Nasa. So it becomes you see. 
ناس انسان الناس از بيبل ذن بيبل وات ار ذا دوينج هير اند اسبيشلي هير الناس مينز ذا بيبل فروم ديفرنت ترايبز اوف اريبيا ات ذا تايم سو وات ور ذا دوينج ورايت الناس يدخلون في دين الله افواجا يدخلون في دين الله افواجا سو يدخلون as you all said looks like mudare form plural so to remember it yadkhuluna means they were all entering they are entering dukhul entry khuruj exit usually in the you know these middle eastern countries arab countries on the airports at different places you'll see the arabic words of dukhul and khuruj are written so yadkhuluna comes from dakhala yadkhulu like nasara yansuru so dakhala yadkhulu yadkhuluna they are entering fi into they are entering into yadkhuluna fi din allah afwaja so all right yadkhuluna fi so see it's rather than entering into uh, rather entering in it is into or entering because entering actually does not require to be added with a Uh, preposition it could be yadkhuluna fi din allah they are entering the deen of allah the religion of allah so din allah deen ul islam and here the meanings of the way of life deen as a way of life and how are they entering they are entering in the form of afwaja but before i come to that see what deen is what is the difference between a religion and a deen now christianity uh, has a set of worshiping and you know people also separate themselves they segregate you know a religion as of uh, following certain set of worships but no other system is given similarly communism is a system of economics of business but it does not define the system of worship and all that islam is the only religion because that's why we call it deen which has system for everything every part of life what should be our personal life like what should be our political life our social life our economic life so you know all matters of life are handled by islam so allah gives us direction for everything so islam is deen that's what a deen is called the complete code of life so ya dkhuluna fi din allah afwaja afwaja means you know forge is crowd army bigger numbers so afwaja in the form of crowds troops lots of people crowd and the plural of forge is afwaj forge afwaj forge afwaj crowd and more people people and people afwaja yeah. so here the people refers to the different tribes of arabia who were entering islam after the conquest of makkah and the two meanings of deen we know judgment as well as system of life and here the here the meanings of deen are the system of life as i have just explained to you so people entering the deen means that they are becoming muslim they are embracing islam waraita nas yadkhuluna fi din allah afwaja so what is the result of a true victory and the true help of allah that is that everybody should get into the deen of allah get guidance enter the fold of islam accept allah as one and follow his directions so brothers and sisters this is our responsibility and are we doing it helping others to understand islam bringing them to the fold of islam so that they get the best of this world and the best of the hereafter and that is a true victory and true success waraita nasa yadkhuluna fi din allah afwaja your time so meaning of teen a b c d one is judgment second meaning b very right result of the victory mentioned in surah al nasr is a b c d c yeah you see this is the true victory rather than the worldly victories which we keep on looking at الحمد لله 
So let's move to the last part of the surah. فَسَبِّحْ بِحَمْدِ رَبِّكَ وَاسْتَغْفِرْهِ Then glorify with the praise of your Lord and ask forgiveness of Him. فَسَبِّحْ As you said, two parts. فَا means thus and then. سَبِّحْ Glorify. Like we say tasbih, we do tasbih. Subhanallah, subhanallah, subhanallah. So we glorify Allah. Subhan means purified. Allah is purified. So free from defects. فَسَبِّحْ Then glorify. Sabbih, subhanallah. Allah is free from all the defects. That's what the speed is. Bihamdi, with praise. So again, Allah is glorified, but with praise. So sabbih and ham. Tasbih and hamd. These are two different concepts. Let's understand them. Both are the ways of praising Allah. Both are the ways of praising Allah. But what is the difference? Hamd is Praising like, no, I'll give you example. Like, for example, we say Allah is a Rahman, Rahim. He's the most powerful. He, he gives uh, risk to everybody. So this is also Allah's praise. But when I say Allah does not fear anybody, Allah is not weak. He does not need children. This is also Allah's praise, but we call it Tasbih. This is the negation of the negatives. Allah is not weak. He, he doesn't need to follow anybody. So these are the words of tasbih, also a way of praising Allah. You know, we, we do the same things for the worldly things. For example, I would praise this cell phone in different ways. I could say it is not very pricey. So I am negating one of the, you know, disadvantage, maybe something which is very costly. And if I say it has lots of data storage, so that's also one way of praising it. So Hamd is praising Allah by his positive attributes. Tasbih is praising Allah by negating the negatives in Allah. So remember this difference now. Rabbika, your Lord. We have learned it from the table. And Lord is the one who takes care of us all the time, helps us grow. Wa istaghfirhu. You made the three parts of it. Wa and istaghfir. Ask forgiveness. Who? Him. From him. Okay. So it comes from same huwa and who. We have done this mayr. So, so Allah is asking the Prophet now, since yadhuluna fi din Allah fwaja, everybody is entering into the deen of Allah, fasabbi. So do the tasbi, glorify, do the praise of your Lord and ask forgiveness of him. So what do we learn from this? Saying, Subhanallah, Allah is free from defects, deficiency, imperfection. He does not need anybody's help. He is not weak. He is not under pressure of anyone. He has no son or no father. He is alone in his, in his entity, his attributes, his rights, his powers. So that's what Tasbih is. So how can we praise someone against whom you have a complaint? So we don't have any complaint. Allah is free from everything. However small it may be. So it is for this reason that we often see the words of Alhamdulillah mentioned after Subhanallah. So now first telling yourself, whatever Allah does is right. He is free from defects. Subhanallah. Then saying Alhamdulillah. Oh Allah, thank you for whatever you have provided me for this. So oh Allah, whatever defect was there in our good deeds, please forgive us for that. You know, because we are human beings, when the Prophet is being told to do tasbih and hamd and then do istighfar, you know, so people like us who are just ordinary human beings, we should be doing tasbih, lots of hamd, and then seeking Allah's forgiveness, you know, because we cannot even praise Allah rightly. We don't know even how to do his tasbih. We are very weak. We cannot do it in the at a nice perfection level. So then seek Allah's forgiveness. Allah forgive me if I'm not even able to do it rightly. And the last part is But let me quickly ask you if you understand the meaning of tasbih means A B C D. A. Yeah, addition of defects. Very right. And translated, Mustaqfirhu, ABCD. 
D. Mashallah. Yeah, D. And ask forgiveness of him. So the last part of the verse is Inna hu kana tawwaba. Inna. Who? These are two parts. Who will who will tell me the meanings of inna? We have done it already. We Indeed. did it yesterday also. Indeed. And Indeed. Inna who? Indeed he. So inna who? Alhamdulillah. Kana. Kana means he was. Kana means he was. So it comes in Quran 422 times. So remember the meaning of Kana. But why is it being translated as is here? Any reason? Why is being translated as is rather than was? In the verse? Because of inna. Because of inna. Because of inna. Anyone because else? Because of inna. Because of Allah. You see, because it is for Allah. Allah is, is always is. Kana, its original meanings were was, but for Allah, it always means it will be translated as is. So, inna hu, indeed he, kana is, tawwaba. Tawwaba is from taba. It is from taba. Taba means he turned or he returned or he, uh, you know, uh, actually turned. So, Taib, who turns, one who turns, Tawab, one who turns again and again, one who returns or turns again and again. So, Tawba is also returning towards Allah, comes from same. So, from here is Tawab and Tawaba. And you know, in this meaning, Allah is Tawab and we are also Tawab. Humans are also Tawab. Why? How? Think about it. You know, we are tawab because we keep doing wrong things and Allah is tawab and we, we, we turn to him and Allah is tawab who is always turning back to us and forgiving us and accepting us, accepting our tawba. So tawab, tawabun, tawabin. And we did it in, when we did Allahumma ja'alni min tawabin. Okay. Of forgiving. Allah often forgive. Again and again forgive. Repeatedly forgive. So that's the good news for all of us. It's a great sign of relief and good news that Allah is often forgiving. He's so merciful, but we need to repent sincerely. So brothers and sisters, the right way of doing Tawbah is to repent sincerely, accept that something wrong has been done by me. Feel sorry for it. Have a firm intention and a commitment that you will never repeat this sin. And then Repent to Allah, turn to Him with this firm belief that Allah will accept your repentance. So, Taba, He repented. So, Tawab is the one who repents again, again and again and again. And Allah is Tawab, He forgives again and again and again. So, uh, now there is an example is being given to show you the uh, intensity of how should we be asking Allah's repentance, you know, if somebody tells you that I'm hungry, if I'm very hungry and someone tells me that he feeds hundreds of people, so what will I do? I'll immediately ask him, okay, give me food, I'm hungry. So now when Allah is saying, Innahu kana tawaba, Allah is often forgiving. Brother and sister, we should immediately ask from Allah, oh Allah, forgive me, oh Allah, forgive me, oh Allah, forgive me. So whenever you see this name of Allah, tawab, say, oh Allah, forgive me, oh Allah, Accept my repentance. I do toba. I turn to you. You know. So get the benefit of this. Inna hu kana tawaba. So with this, Alhamdulillah, we complete our lesson. If there are any questions, quick questions, you are most welcome to ask. Otherwise, after thirty seconds, inshallah. We'll start a grammar lesson.
Auz billahi min ash-shaitan rajim. In grammar today, it's very very interesting, and we are going to learn about fail amr wa nahi, amr wa nahi, amr wa nahi, imperative tense or command uh, form. So we will inshallah see how faala turns into amr wa nahi, amr if al nahi la taf al. We'll see it inshallah, and I'll explain at that time to you. But you know, every day we try to do things a little revision of previous concepts with the help of TPI, in which we hear it, see it, think it, we say it, show it by doing our actions. So make sure that you move your hands, do the actions because these actions are very important. They will help you memorize and keep these things in your mind, and with love and passion, remembering that we are learning the book of Allah. not doing any ordinary class or mathematics or english or other languages but the book of allah and the more people together we do it it will be full of blessings so let's look at what we have already learned is is noun in arabic it is a name or an attributes and there are different signs and mashallah i've seen you all have become very good at um identifying ism fail and harf So fail or verb is it tells us about an action and also an action done in at a certain time maybe in mazi or mudare or you know it could be in imperative form and then harf it joins the two nouns or verbs together so most afal in arabic are three letter afal which are called root letters like fa ala these are the three root letters fataha nasara daraba okay its types are mazi that which is done because the action is completed we call it perfect tense mudare action is being done or will be done since it is not completed we call it imperfect tense amr command when you order something okay amr command or you make a request so It, its complete name is amr wa nahi all right so let's come and see what we have already learned and how are we going to move forward so you have already done entire mazi forms of afal and mudare forms and remember these appear in quran 18000 times so the more practice we'll do inshallah of this pattern the more words of quran will be able to learn so who will come forward and do the revision once of faala's forms of mazi and mudare sister mohiba takes the lead congratulations sister you are the first one to do this please do the mazi form of faala first faala sister you have muted yourself please unmute and complete it faala he did faalu they did Faalta, you did. Faaltu, I did. Faaltum, you all did. Faalna, we did. Mashallah. The mudar yafalu, he does. Yafaluna, they do. Tafalu, you do. Afalu, I do. Tafaluna, you all do. Nafalu, we do. Mashallah, sister, excellent. I I request everybody to once do it with me. because we are starting the new uh, form imperative form so we should all have a good command over these everyone do it with me okay faala 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 faalu faaltu faaltum faalna faaltum faaltum faalna faaltum faalu ya faalu एक्सीलेंट माशा सो आई फील गुड टू हियर एवरीबडी एंड सी लॉट्स ऑफ एनर्जी एंड मोटिवेशन सो इन टू डेज लेसन इन शाह as i told you earlier we are going to learn the amr form but before that there is something very interesting which we will learn very interesting it is the word sofa and sa these words are used before mudare 
they are used before mudare safa means soon and sa means very soon so when you see safa before mudare it would mean very soon something will be done and sa very very soon uh, you know so early that we can't even say wow and fa so we are saying sa let's look let's use them with the yafalu uh, i have already told you they are used with mudare so safa yafalu soon he will do safa yafalu na soon they will do safa tafalu soon you will do safa afalu soon i will do safa tafalu na soon you all will do safa nafalu soon we will do okay come on who is going to repeat it revise it okay so brother suleiman assalam alaikum wa alaikum assalam sofa yaf alu soon he will do sofa yaf aluna soon they will do sofa taf alu soon you will do sofa af alu soon i will do sofa taf aluna soon you all will do sofa naf alu soon we will do mashallah brother yusuf assalamu alaikum sofa yaf alu soon i will do sofa taf alu na soon they will do sofa taf alu soon you will do sofa af alu soon i will do sofa taf alu na soon you all do sofa naf alu soon we will do brother musana hakim just to the arabic of it on arabic okay sofa yaf alu سوف يفعلون سوف تفعل سوف نفعل سوف تفعلون سوف نف... سوف افعل اوكي okay, افعل وانا فعل right so now this was for sofa which means soon and there is a word as we said sister rukayya james uh, you know if we say sayfalu it is very soon so we can write it together so sayfalu sayfaluna satfalu safalu satfaluna sanfalu so sister will you be able to do it with translation assalam alaikum wa alaikum assalam so let me try sir sayfalu very soon he will do sa aluna very soon he will do sa taf alu very soon you will do sa af alu very soon i will do sa af aluna very soon you all do sa af alu sa af sa naf alu very soon we will do mashallah sadat baba sa yaf alu very soon he will do sayaf aluna very soon they will do sayaf <clears throat> alu very soon you will do saaf alu very soon i will do sataf aluna very soon you all will do sanaf alu very soon we will do mashallah brother rashid could you do the arabic only assalam um, alaikum warahmatullah ബ്രദർബാഫു السلام عليكم وعليكم السلام سيفعل سيفعلون ستفعل سافعل ستفعلون سنفعل ما شاء الله اكسلنت سو 
Now, these are the additions with Mudare. And yesterday, we also learnt about the four styles of verb, Fataha Yaftahu. And on the pattern of Fataha Yaftahu, we know there is Fa'ala Yaf'alu Ja'ala Yaj'alu. Similarly, Nasara Yansuru. And on its pattern, we know Khalaka Zakara Abad. On the pattern of Daraba, uh, we, we, we can say Ghafara, although we have not studied it, but uh, you can say it. Ghafara Yakfi. And on the pattern of Samia, Aliman, Amila. So today, inshallah, we are going to do the Amr or the command form. So Amr wa Nahi is defined as they, they are written together, but they means to command or request, or Nahi means to prohibit or to prevent. Okay. Or uh, and when we say command or request, you know, for example, if if the form is being used. And somebody senior says to a younger one, it will be a command form. And if a younger one says to a senior, it will be a request form. Similarly, if Allah is saying something, it will be a command form. When we are saying the same thing, it will be a request form. So let's let's see how it is. If Al. Now, you see here, if Al, do. If Al, do I am using my one single finger and dropping it right in front of me from uh, from top to down like this? If I'll, as if I'm ordering somebody, you know, ordering. If I'll do, if I do more fingers, of course, plural. If I do, do you all? When I use my single finger from left to right like this, very nicely. Don't do. Don't do you all. I'm using all my four fingers and as a plural. Don't do you all. Now, brothers and sisters, by the way, to whom am I saying this? Who is my, who is my audience? Any idea? Yes, but if I trust you, if I... Somebody who is right in front of me, okay? Yes. Because I cannot talk to somebody who is not present and I cannot oh. order someone, stop someone who is not around me. So let me, let me quickly explain to you how if al is formed. Now you see, it is actually from taf alu, taf alu. So taf alu, remember in the mudare we said taf alu, you do or you will do. Okay, now to make an AMR form, can you please? I don't know whether they are going to drop their at you. Okay, so you know, to make the AMR form, we drop the first ta, this one, and this dhamma. And what is left is it is fa, ayn, and lam, but fa is silent. And in Arabic, something which is silent cannot be pronounced. So to pronounce it, we brought a Hamza here with a Kasra. So this became if al. So for sure, it is being said to somebody who is present. And of course, it is can only be done in the Mudare form, not in the past form. So who, somebody who is present right in front of me and I'm ordering that person and I'm saying if al, do. If alu, do you all? La tafal, don't do. La tafalu, don't do you all. Okay, now your turn. Come forward, do the practice. And do this practice nicely by using your single finger for if al, dropping from top to bottom. And if alu, for with more fingers, plural, do you all? La tafal, don't do. La tafalu, don't do you all. Okay, come on. Let's see who comes first. So, for learning the words of Allah, you should be coming, of, you know, passionately coming forward. Yes, Sister Muhiba, you take the lead. If al la tafal la tafalu. Sister, please do it with the translation. Lubanga Nasifu. You do it. Okay. If I'll 
do if i do do you all let if i don't do let if i do don't do very good very nicely done sister aksa assalamualaikum warahmatullah if al do if alu do you all la taf al la taf alu don't do la taf alu don't do you all yes so the first one is la taf al the last word is silent and okay, la, taf al. la taf alu so don't do you all that is the plural so to differentiate between the two we have to do it carefully if al if alu la taf al la taf alu now everybody i will say out the arabic words and you all will do the actions then i will do the actions and you all will say out the words so first i am going to say the arabic words and you are all going to do the actions if al do if alu you all do all la taf al do not do la taf alu you all do you all okay now i am going to do the actions you are going to say the arabic and translation if al if al if al don't do if al if al don't you all do la taf al la taf al don't do la taf al don't you do And may i request you all to please follow my if command I... let me first do the action then say it together and with translation you know we are good students we should be following a rhythm so let's do it very nicely if if i do 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 if i do if i do do all of you all ब्यूटिफुल थिंग्स So we know all the Madi forms. Faala, faalu, faal, tafal, tu faal, kum faalna. Yafalu, yafaluna, tafalu, afalu, tafaluna, nafalu. And today we have learned very interesting. If al, if alu, la taf al, la taf alu. Alhamdulillah. So inshallah, this table will keep growing. Now let's do the quick Arabic conversation. When I ask you if al, Musana Hakim, how would you respond? Saufa afal. Mashallah. You're saying okay. I I said if al. You said I will do it very quickly. You know if alu. I'm saying it to all of you. How would you all respond to me if alu? Saufa nafal. Saufa nafalu. We will do it soon. We are quick to do it, right? So I'm asking you to do good things. That's why. Okay. But what alu khaira? Do it very carefully. A B C D. Which one is the right answer? Waf alu khaira. Also remember to break it down. Wa and if alu al khair. Do good. Okay, and of course it is plural for more people. Don't do A B C D. Which one is right? Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's that's wonderful. Let a fell. Yeah, mashallah. So let's move forward. Similarly, on the same pattern for the fatha, we would say if the if the Open. You know we have done the table of fataha, fataha, fatahu, fatahta, fatahtu, fatahtum, fatahna, yaftahu, yaftahu, na daftahu, aftahu, daftahu, na naftahu. If tah, open. If tahu, open you all. La tafta, don't open. La taftahu, don't open you all. Brother Suleiman, would you like to do it? 
Conecto. Esta. 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 La. La tafta. La tafta. Mashallah. Saga tu. Yes. We translation. Ifta open. Ifta who open you all. La tafta. Don't open. La tafta who don't open you all. Mashallah. Lubanga, brother Lubanga. Ifta open. Ifta who open you all. La tafta. Don't open. Let us the who don't open all. Mashallah. Brother Rashid, now since we have learnt about ifta, you see Alhamdulillah our table is growing. So if I if I say to you ifta, how would you respond? After. After who? From Udare, right? This one, after who? So after. If, I, if I say to all of you, ifta who? How would you all respond? Nafta who? Nafta who? If I tell everybody, if I tell everybody, if the whole Quran, what would you say? Nam nafta. Nafta Quran. You'll say so Quran. So Quran. You'll be very happy. You would like to do it quickly. So Alhamdulillah. Okay. So, fafta, A, B, C, D. Which one is the right answer? D. D. Very good. Yeah. That is fa and ifta. Perfect. Ifta hil kitab. A, B, C, D. C. That's, that's going good. Yeah. So, fa, after hul kitab. See. Right. Alhamdulillah. So the last one for your homework is from Ja'ala and it is Ij'al. Ij'al make because Ja'ala was he made. So Ij'al make, Ij'alu make you all. La taj'al don't make. La taj'alu don't make you all. Brother Rashid. Ij'al. Make each alu make you all la la taj al don't make la taj alu don't make you all. Excellent, Sister Muhiba. Ija al make Ija alu make you all la taj al don't make la taj alu don't make you all. Mashallah. So this is your homework. Please do it. Practice it at home. You have five days to practice all these, inshallah. So let's have quick question and then come towards the end. La taj alu, A, B, C, D. So when you are being said, la taj alu, what would you say? You will immediately say, la la naj'al. La naj'al. La yeah. Very right. Alni, translate it, A, B, C, D. It is very easy now. You remember we said, Allahumma ja'alni minat tambabina wa ja'alni minat mutatakhirin. So today you learn how was it formed. Ij'alni. So, a. Yeah, a. Make me, alhamdulillah. So let's come to the last thing of the class, uh, of the lesson, which is a learning tip. And today's learning tip is about creating an environment of learning. So, you know, how would you create it? Have such friends around you, have an environment at home, put up a poster, have vocabulary card with you. We have already sent you the card. You can keep it in your pocket. You can keep all the material, videos, audios, listen to it, keep it in your cell phone, keep the textbook printed. We have sent you the soft copy. Uh, you can have a whiteboard or a blackboard to write the verses and different lessons on it. The whole week, the lesson could be written there and then you can look at it and inshallah, have family members, partners, friends learn together. Learning together is a great way to learn and revise things. So 
create an environment at your home, a nice small corner, like this is my corner, you see, you know, I have all the resources here, which are, which help me and the books and, you know, things. Similarly, uh, this table is set up here. The drawer has lots of my things. So, you know, you can also set up a nice corner where your Quran is also kept and you can, uh, you know, and then people around you. So pocket book is also a great way. If you have the vocabulary card in your pocket or you can paste it, you know, in the kitchen somewhere, my sisters or brothers in their offices or somewhere where they see it every time again and again. And inshallah, it will be a great way of learning and you will be a continuous student of the Quran wherever you go. You know, when I was doing course, I'll keep the card in my car. I still have a vocabulary booklet in my card, a car. And whenever I'm free, wherever I'm waiting, or I'm, you know, I just open it and look at it. And that's a great way of learning things. Alhamdulillah, we have come to the end of the day. Let's pray to Allah to recite, understand, ponder, implement, propagate, and memorize the Quran. Subhanak Allahumma wa bihamdika nashadu la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk. And brother and sister, by the way, I have to give you a challenge. In the next class, uh, you will translate this Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika yourself, each one of you. Please do not look anywhere. Do not, with the help of this course and learning, you all will be able to inshallah translate it and you have to do it yourself. That will be your true skill building and a self-assessment as well.